So, normally I'll be doing this type of video in my car, either in the parking lot at work or on my way home from work. But, it is polar bear coochie cold outside. <laughs> and we're going to be doing this in the house, okay? What is up? What is up, Chubbs? What is happening, my Damien? What is up? <laughs> it is your girl, your favorite Chubb, here. So, we, I need a little, I need to vent a little bit, okay? That's what we're going to talk about because um, I am a PCT. If you're new here, I'm a PCT, a tech in the hospital. And, of course, I have been around the malt like a virus and since the start of it um she has came with cousins okay so it's like malt liquor with a twist on the ball sack and it's it's so bad still and that's all i can say about it and i am burnt out this is my personal experience of how i feel at the moment and it's a lot to take in now the thing about it is i'm not going to get on here and be preachy and tell the one thing about get vaccine get this get that because at this day and right now what's going on it don't even matter if you get vaccinated or not there's people out here that got covid thrice okay like how do you get it more than once like why you didn't learn your lessons the first time like it's just it's a lot to take in and i am grateful that it's been two years and i have not gotten not one part of a malt liquor virus none, none of her cousins her aunties her uncles i ain't got none of it and i'm grateful for that but when the hospital setting gets so bad that people would rather just stay the hell home and just live off the land I, I i'm just speaking out of out of context i don't know it's just a lot to take in like my floor at my hospital was the first covid floor when it first started because we was we had surgical floor and they shut us down because those surgeries because it was you know really bad but we became the covid unit and that was a lot because basically they were we were the guinea pigs learning as we go. You know what I'm saying? And it was scary then. Like people coming off elevators already KO, gone. They 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 at the golden gates, okay? Like it was a lot to take in. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just I was overwhelmed then. I had my days where I was just I had to sit in a stock room and just think about my life. And why is this happening? Why is it not getting any better? And at the time, I couldn't see my grandmother or my mom because we made um, an agreement that I called them every day. I did not want to be around them. And they didn't like that, but they understood that. And that was for almost six months. And it started to get better. But, of course, I have been through some losses in the last year. I lost my granny not to COVID then in six months after that lost my auntie not to COVID and the fact that it just seems like it was try to get a little better and then people just don't want to listen and just do the utmost and now we back bad again and like we getting there and it's overwhelming like times two I'm, I'm burnt out part two okay and it's the you know our unit is still surgery but they got it on selective days now they're trying not they're trying their best not to shut us down but we do take overflow patients medical patients because uh, uh they have a whole covid unit on a different floor and with that unit it all depends how bad you are because there's different areas for different covid patients and the place you don't want to be is the icu that's that's the worst besides you know you don't want to be out but it's a lot to take in but the the scary part is we get patients 
and they'll come from one thing and then they have to test they basically got to test all of them because they're coming in for one thing but they testing all of them like i we just recently i just recently got a call saying that a, a, a patient tested positive and i was around that patient all night and i spent two years of avoiding this and i'm not gonna have nobody get me sick and it's bad because at my job every day for the last few couple weeks few weeks somebody's out because of covid and i'm just like i'm, I'm not y'all not gonna get me sick i i want to be healthy i literally just had surgery in may and been around everybody and but around these, if I'm talking about people at work, but I don't want to get sick because somebody, somebody else's negligence. Okay, like I understand we want to party, we want to be around people, we want to, you know, have family time and everything else. But at this time, we have to be responsible about everything. You know what I'm saying? This is, not, you know, as much as we want to be around our loved ones and everything else but we gotta take precautions to keep everybody safe okay and my burnouts is about it is it, it's, it's still bad like i had two meltdowns this week and i'm i'm a true cancer okay my emotions can be a little bit much but i i will cry it out before i will fight your ass like it um because I, I'm, I have to cry it out, otherwise I'll be walked out of my job. And it's not a and I it's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign to help me calm down. And for me to do it twice at w in one week, and people like, oh, it's gonna get better. I, I hope so. And because at the end of the day, I don't want it. I don't want no parts of her virus, her cousins. I don't want no parts of it. But it's a scary situation to the fact that, you know, I can't, I, I'm just very bothered that people still not taking precautions to protect themselves. And it's all I'm asking, like, just wear your damn mask. Wear your damn mask. I don't, I'm a true introvert, okay? I do what I need to do. And come home. If I ain't at home, I'm at work. If I'm at work, if I'm not at work, I'm at home. And I sprinkle a little stops here and there. But the important ones like my mom and my sister and my niece. But store, I'm not in there no longer than 20 minutes. And I think that's too long right now. And I, I make out my list. Go get what I need to get. And I get up out of there. I don't really hang out around people and everything else there's a lot of friends that i know that that ended up with covid and and everything else and i'm just like i spent two years and have not gotten it i'm not trying to get it i don't want i don't want the malt liquor special with a twist i don't want it so i'm just i'm venting because it's it's a lot and then just seeing it's going backwards seeing people just go because of this this situation that all could have been a try to avoid to get bad all over again and then you got you know them saying well you get the vaccine you and everything else so they tell you get the vaccine some people get the vaccine and then they like well you know it protects you you can still get covid which we we're not dumb we already know this that it, you can still get COVID. There's people that got the vaccine that got COVID for a second time. Okay, so it does not matter if you got the virus. I mean, got the vaccine or not, you can still get it. Like, and there's a lot of people that thinks, okay, yeah, but it ain't gonna be bad. But then there's people in the hospital with the vaccine holding, holding on by thread. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't like the back and forth of who vaccinated and who not vaccinated. All I care about is wear your damn mask. That's all I care about. And I'm be so wiped out leaving work nowadays that I used to go work out and work out after work because it helps me feel better. And then I come home, take a shower. And by the time I'm out the shower, I'm ready to go to sleep. Honey, I've been so tired that I just go straight to the shower. I go straight to the shower and there was some days where I'm just 
sitting in the shower because I'm that tired that I can't stand anymore. And it's taken away from my my growth and my process with my weight loss journey. And that's pissing me off. And the fact that I'm at work and I feel like I have no support from my coworkers is ridiculous. It's, there shouldn't be no comparison of which area is worser and everything else. Everything is bad. Everything is so bad. And it doesn't make any make it any better when we short staff because majority of the people is out with COVID. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep myself clear from COVID. I gotten this far. I'm trying to just not have it, period. So it's just it's just a lot. And especially when I come home, I talk to my boyfriend and I be so stressed out. He he don't know what to say to calm me down. He he knows what to say, but then he don't it, it, it don't seem like it's getting any better. And I'm I I don't want him to repeat himself. Oh, it's gonna get it's gonna do this, gonna no. I just wanted to all go away. We all wanted to all go away. And at this time it's not. And on top of that, um, when y'all sending them stimmies out because Y'all might just go ahead and give us that money. Give me my stimmy because it 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 is it, it's, it's, it's looking a little bleak right now. So come on and send us that stimmy. I wouldn't mind another 14. Okay, so that's all I wanted to talk about. And um I just needed to vent a little bit. So um it's like early morning, Saturday, and I might record an another video, but this probably won't come out until Monday. But I just wanted to vent a little bit and all I say is stay safe out there. Wear your damn mask. And if it if you have something that has happened to you that could just go to immediate care, just go there. Okay? Don't waste your time and go to the ED and might expose yourself to anybody that might have COVID. If you stub your toe or you got a little slit on your finger, if it's something that can be fixed at an immediate care where they can get you in, get you out, go there. Please don't go to the ED because you just further exposing yourself to the bullshit because you don't know who in there got COVID and and it's just it's just a waste of time going to the ED for something so minuscule. So go go to the immediate care so they can get you in, get you out. You ain't gotta be worried about um, being around a bunch of people. If it ain't that serious, don't go to the ED. Stupid. Just go to immediate care, get it, get you in, get you out, and go on by your business. That's 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 my take on it. But I'm going to either record another video or I'm going to go to sleep. It all depends. I slept all damn day today. So well yesterday. So that's why I'm up. So I hope everybody have a good weekend. I got to take my black ass back to work and battle this BS all over again. So I will keep everybody in prayer and keep everybody just healthy and safe. That's all I ask in this world. So that's it. And I don't have to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. And you know what I say. Stay true. Stay you. And I holla back at you. Boom.